Andy Staten and News 9 Sports. I think today what it did was it showed our character. It showed the character of this team. They've been through so much this year. I mean, the journey that we've been on to get to right here, we didn't know how many games we'd play, but we knew we had to play our best tonight, and I think we did. That was Ohio State head coach Ryan Day after the Buckeyes beat Clemson in the Sugar Bowl on Friday, punching their ticket to the national championship game. And that means we have a head coach from New Hampshire leading his team into that huge game on Monday night. What a story for Manchester's Ryan Day from a star athlete at Central High School to quarterback at UNH and then a coaching journey that took him to Boston College, Florida, Temple, two NFL teams and Ohio State now. And through it all, he has remained that New Hampshire guy proud of and in touch with his roots. In fact, he called us on Sunday to offer a Zoom interview so he could connect with the fans back home. We did that interview this afternoon. How are you doing, Coach? And is this overwhelming at all? It's, it's, it's fun. I mean, this is why you, why you start coaching. This is what it's all about. Um, you know, as a player, you always want to play, you know, for championships. And then as a coach, you always have a dream of playing in this game and coaching in this game. You know, this is, this is what it's all about, is playing in this game. And uh, there's a lot that comes with it, but it's, uh, it's fun preparing. What a great opponent we have. Are you feeling the support and love from New Hampshire right now? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I always have. Um, you know, you get the text messages and, um, you know, I think about that a lot. And but the reason I think that I understood what it meant to, to be a Buckeye here was because of where I, I was raised, where people are so proud of being from New Hampshire and being from Manchester that, um, that I, I got that immediately when I, when I came to the school. And, you know, what makes me happy is thinking that maybe there were some people in New Hampshire who were watching that game the other night and just really excited and uh, got a chance to think about something else for a little while and, and got to enjoy the win with us because maybe they felt a little bit a part of it, um, knowing that that was from New Hampshire. There's so many people that um, helped me get to where I'm at right now. There's so many people. Um, such a unique journey and a long journey to get here. It's all of those people that, that helped me back, you know, growing up. Um, and just showed me the way, you know, and, and that's one thing when you have great coaches, you're able to love the sport. I mean, it's the only way you do this is, is one reason, you know, and it's not because you don't love the sport. I mean, you have to love football to do this. And a lot of that had to do with the influence I had growing up.